Find the term independent of x in the expansion 3x squared minus 2 over x to the 9. If we use the binomial expansion, we have that a plus b to the n is equal to a to the n plus nc1 a to the n minus 1 b plus nc2 a to the n minus 2 b squared. This carries on. Now we get some sort of general term, some sort of general pattern. NCR, A to the N minus R, B to the R. And we get the last term, which is B to the N. This term here is called the general term. And from this we can find specific particular terms of a binomial expansion. So... The general term is ncr a to the n minus r b to the r. So we need to find a term which is independent of x. So there'll be some term where the x's cancel out. We'll just be left with a number. And we've got to find the value of r where that happens. So we've got 3x squared minus 2 over x to the 9. So that will give me that n is 9. a is 3x squared and b is minus 2 over x. Putting these numbers into the general term, we're going to get 9cr, 3x squared for a, 9 minus r, and times minus 2 over x to the r. So that's going to give me 9cr, 3 to the 9 minus r, x squared, to the 9 minus r, minus 2 to the r, and this way it's 1 over x will become x to the minus r. Remember the negative rule for indices. Right, grouping the x terms together, we'll just write that out again. So grouping the x's together, so we get 9cr, 3 to the 9 minus r, minus 2 to the r, so we'll just put the numbers here. And we're going to have x, now multiplying this power out, we've got 8x to the 18 minus 2r, 2 times 9, 2 times r, times x to the minus r. And here we have to add together the indices. So we get 9cr, 9 to the 9, 3 to the 9 minus r, minus 2 to the r, and we're going to have x to the 18 minus 3r. Now we need this to be equal to 0, so therefore we have x to the 0 and we'll get 1 and we'll be left with numbers. So obviously r would have to be equal to 6 because 18 minus 3 times 6 is equal to 0. So we've got rid of the x, so we're just left with 9c6, substituting for r, 3 to the 9 minus 6, minus 2 to the 6, x to the 0. But note that x to the 0 is now 1, so we've now got the term independent of x, there's no x in it. Sometimes it's referred to as the constant term. So it's 9c6, 3 cubed times minus 2 to the 6. So actually, we can actually leave the answer like that if it was a non-calculator exam, but if we're using the, uh, on, for the calculator exam, we go to the calculator, select calculation mode, which is this one here. Okay, go to menu and select probability and we want number three which is combinations okay so we put nine comma six that means nine c six times three two cubed times brackets so you don't need to worry about the minus sign here but it's an even power to the power of six and enter, and we get 145,152. So, a couple of screenshots of what I've just done. Okay, and the final answer will be 145,152.